What's up, traders? Matt from the Trade Brigade here doing a technical analysis on ticker symbol SPLK for Splunk Inc. On the left-hand side, we're looking at the daily time frame, and on the right-hand side, the 30-minute intraday time frame. First thing I need to point out is that these guys did give us an earnings announcement after the bell today, so let's flip on the extended hours session and see what is going on with the number. Zooming in a bit here, you can see quite a bit of volatility in that first 30-minute period, large upper and lower wick, but as of right now, we did move higher, and we technically are will, you know, if nothing changes by 9.30, we will be opening on a small gap up. So for the sake of today's video, we'll assume that the open will be here around 158.03, 158 the whole dollar. We'll assume that the overnight high holds there at 163. And of course, yesterday or today's high is going to be here at uh, 157. We'll call it for round number six. So turning that back off to talk about our gap rules, as we always do from the daily perspective here, you can see that because our numbers are pretty far apart, and we discussed that on uh, AMRX, if you didn't watch that video already, uh, basically when these two numbers, so the open and the overnight high are very far apart, it makes pulling off the uh, initial trade for the gap fill much harder. If these were tighter together, you have tighter risk and you also have a bigger reward. But as this sits right now, right, there's not a whole lot of range to actually trade for the gap fill underneath. One for, uh, 158 down to 157 is only a dollar move there, and I would argue it will probably happen quicker than you can even wrap your head around the setup to take action. So for now, uh, I would argue, again, you're not looking for the gap to actually fill for a trade. You're just seeing if the gap actually does fill, does it start printing any type of hammer candles? Is it going to be a gap fill reversal is the play to look out for in a situation like that. In this case, if we do see hammers print, uh, and again, this would probably be on an intraday time frame basis, uh, but you, you go long over the highs looking to retest the overnight high, looking for momentum uh, to fill the gap, You know, show us that buyers do remain in control, the sellers have been shaken out, and that would be the target here up around that 163. So that's the long-sided trade available in SPLK at the bell if this is how things remain main. Obviously, if we do get closer, these two numbers do get closer together, we'll walk through the scenario for the actual gap trade as we always do. So let's just say for the sake of today's video that uh, say we open at 160.50, right? If we open here, fail to take out the overnight high, you're looking for the short back down through the open to trade for the gap fill down here to that 157 area. The flip side of the coin, obviously, is the gap and go, in which case we open here, we consolidate, maybe test the overnight high a number of times. You look for the breakout, taking it long up and over that 163 whole number, in which which case, what's the next major area of resistance from the daily perspective? Let's flip this to auto. Uh, I would argue, what's this? Yes, so right here would be my main watch. You can see prior shelf of support in here around 167.33, and then after that you have 174.42. Based on how this one has traded around earnings in the past and the average range on the day, I'm not gonna say that 175 is gonna be in play way up here. It's just something to maybe keep an eye on into the remainder of the week and or month going forward. So all things considered, again, you have some frameworks to watch out for as those two numbers get closer, the trade does get better for the gap fade and or gap breakout. Keep that in mind to the downside underneath. If it really fills the gap and gets going lower, I would watch and keep a close eye on the 200 SMA as you know, the green line in here, as well as that 148.72, which was prior resistance and should act as support going forward into the remainder of the uh, week. So all things considered, that's going to wrap up the video. If you enjoyed it, let me know down below in the comment section or by giving it a thumbs up. Don't forget our main channel is linked in the description. And all of that being said, I wish you a green trading week.